Hey guys, it's Jolene here. Welcome back to the Home Stitchery Decor YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Jolene. I am from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And in today's video, I want to talk to you from my bathroom. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, no, seriously, it's not going to get weird. It's all about this shower curtain that I made. Uh, this lovely shower curtain. So this is my own original design and I actually only made this uh, design with the big print for myself so it's not even available on my store. Uh, I do have it in a smaller print but I wanted to show you guys um, the, the quality of this is um, from Printify. It's absolutely insane. I've, uh, I've loved it from the second that I got it. And I have tried to order other shower curtains from other print providers and they were not the same. They're just not the same. Um, so I even went to um, like AliExpress to get a curtain and it, it just didn't turn out the same. So um, the, the shower curtains on Printify are a little bit of, uh, more of an investment piece, but I'm going to show you how to design your own. And here is an example of what you will get. It is absolutely, um, you know, really thick quality. Um, hangs nice, drapes nice. I have a steam machine, so that's how I got all the wrinkles out of it when I first got it. So I just steamed it and it's been in my bathroom ever since. So now I want to show you the tutorial so that you can make your own shower curtain. Let's go. Okay, you guys, uh, we're over at the computer now and I'm going to uh, start showing you how to design your own shower curtain. And so I just wanted to show you here on my own uh, Shopify store that this is a shower curtain that I designed using Canva and Printify. And so this is one of my designs and you'll be able to have this exact mock-up and everything um, right from Printify. So this is how we're going to do it. First off, um, you're going to start a Printify shop if you haven't signed up for Printify yet. The link will be in the video description. It's my affiliate link. If you could sign up with that, it will really help me out. Um, you're not required to, but it does. Uh, I do earn commissions when people purchase things through links. So I train on my YouTube videos. And then anytime anybody signs up through a link, I receive a small commission. And that really helps out small business. You can do it too. Okay, so um, I come on to Printify. And you're going to link up your Shopify store to Printify. They're going to walk you right through the steps with integrations. You're going to have to set up um, your business account, all of your information as far as your name, address, telephone number. Can you hear that? That's my little dog itching herself down on the bottom here. Good Lord, Cinnamon. Um, anyway, and then uh, you're going to have to uh, put in your credit card information. And then you're going to have to create your product. Okay, so how are we going to create our product? I'm going to show you my favorite trick, and it's not really a trick because everybody should know this at this point, but it is Canva. So you're going to open up a Canva account, and I want to tell you guys right away uh, that um, I use a pro account. I recommend having a pro account. The link will be in the video description. I download mine as SVGs because I find that they uh, pull over better, um, but you can use a free account as well. You cannot use just a simple design from Canva and then um, sell it as your own. So make sure whenever you're using any of these platforms that you read all of the terms and conditions, I will not and cannot be held responsible for somebody um, stealing artwork or using things that break the terms and conditions of any platform that they sell on. Um, this is just my own personal experience and it's up to you to read the fine print. Okay, so with that being said, I'm coming over to Canva and I'm going to click on create a design and I'm going to make it a custom size and I'm going to make it um, say about 900, I think by 900 pixels. I'm going to create a new design and we're just going to make this super simple because you're going to be able to play with this as much as you want when it's done. So now I've just clicked on the white box. And once I've clicked on the white box, a color palette is going to come up here in the corner and I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to make a gray floral shower curtain. Anybody can do this. So I'm going to select light gray. And once I've got that, I'm going to come over to elements and I'm going to put in a floral and just see what comes up here for floral. 
We've got floral lines, floral borders, and just floral. So you can type on just floral. I uh, always use the pro elements whenever I can. I've paid for my Canva Pro account. I want to get as much money out of it as possible. So this is where you need to, um, even though they have the elements here, you need to make this design your own. You cannot just take this element and sell it. You'll need to um, integrate these into uh, a more complicated pattern for you to sell. So I'm going to select this one here and it's in black and I actually kind of like that. And I'm going to just come down here to a bunch of different florals and put them in. And as I said, I really do like to use uh, the pro elements whenever I can. Magic recommendations. Canva has always got such lovely things on it. I really appreciate all the people um, that contribute to this platform with their artwork. It is amazing. All right. Um, I might take this one here too. Okay, so I've got a few elements here on the platform. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to size them down and mix them up. And just kind of play here with um, the elements in uh, to make a pattern is essentially what I'm doing. Now, these are not repeat patterns that I typically make. I just make them in a box. And then um, you will see the shower curtain that I made was an actual repeat design. Um, but I spent more time working on that. There's some tricks and ticks, trips, tick, <laughs> see that five times fast, tips and tricks to make um, other designs, you need things like uh, Procreate might be a good program for that as well, or Adobe Illustrator. Um, but this is just a basic design that you could actually get started with today. And then as you grow with your print-on-demand journey, you can hire designers to make things for you, or you can start following along with some other videos as well, which will help you take your designs to the next level. So just get started with something is what I always recommend. If you start at the beginning, it's much easier to keep going and uh, make yourself a design that you think is pretty enough that you would put it in your own house and then try to sell it to somebody else. So this takes a minute here to just kind of get the um, design patterns going every which way. And I'll take a minute here to go ahead and do this. Just fill in the pattern as much as possible and we'll come back to the video in a minute. Okay, as you can see, there's quite uh, a few more elements here into the pattern. I was just playing with it and I'm like, I'm just going to go with it. I quite like it. Um, the only thing I think I'm going to add is maybe some speckles now. So we're going to try that out and see how that works. So I'm just going to come back up here to elements and I'm going to type in uh, dots and we'll see what comes up here for the dot selection. So there's quite a few. We're into graphics. I just want to see if there's something really light. So like this one here is quite light. And... There are several different options here where it is quite, um, quite light, but I think I'm going to take that one, the first one that I liked. And now you can see it's just ever so faint, right? So I'm going to move that up into the corner and then I'm going to drag it all the way down through. And then I'm going to... Um, just pull the transparency down on that one a little bit. You'll see them start to fade out a little bit. Just want a little tiny little bit of texture on this design. Um, so something that just gives a little bit in that gray. So now I'm pretty much done with my design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the design. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up to the top right hand corner of Canva. I'm going to hit share. And then I'm going to hit download, which will come up here. 
And the next thing you're going to do is it's going to say, do you want to download it as a PNG? And in my case, I do not. I want to download it as an SVG. So the SVG has the little crown on it. And again, that's when we know we need the paid subscription for Canva. So all of the elements that I used in this design, if I was just going to use them and pay for them per piece, it would cost $9.73. Canadian for this design and I believe Canva Pro is about $13.99 a month. So you do the math if you want to make a bunch of different designs. Um, this is the more economical way of doing it. So now I'm going to hit download and the design is going to download here for me. So we're going to give it just a second and then once it's done it will pop up in your downloads. Um, on my computer I have a blue arrow here up at the top and I will be able to see that this is called Untitled Design and it's an SVG. Okay, so now we have our design done in Canva and what we need to do is bring it over to Printify. So we're going to download um, our SVG file and then we're going to upload it to Printify. So the first thing you need to do is open your Printify account and um, I'm in this case I'm looking for shower curtain, we know this, so I'm just going to type in shower. The shower curtain that I prefer to use is this MWW On Demand. So we'll pull this product up. It's 100% polyester, one-sided print, hooks are not included. It's a pre-constructed item. They're going to have all of the product details on for you. Um, they're going to tell you how much it costs. And uh, it's $51.20 Canadian. Shipping is $7.30. And uh, if you have Printify Premium, which is a monthly subscription plan, um, it, the price does come down to $39.42. Printify Premium is if you're doing multiple orders or have lots of orders coming in. You can pay a monthly subscription and then you get lower costs on your products. So right now we're going to start designing the shower curtain. And the uh, design that I just downloaded, I'm going to need to bring in to my computer. So I've just clicked from my device and I'm going to go to my downloads. It'll be my most recent download. We know it was called Untitled Design 7, so we'll pull that up, and now we're going to pull this into the screen. So this is where you're going to design your product. You want to make sure that your product is overlapping any of the area, any of the printable area. So I always give mine a little tug off to the side to make sure that it's doing it if I'm doing designs in this manner. And um, there's other lots of videos on the internet for how to do this you guys so this is just your simple basic let's get going um, here's a quick way to make a design that you can sell come on and do it we we can do it we can make passive income okay so then the other thing that you want to make sure when you're doing this design is that this always stays as high resolution over here on the right hand side if you've designed a design where you're pulling and stretching the design and you're starting to lose resolution, that's not going to come off as a very good print. And you want to make sure that you have the highest quality prints when you're sending a product out. Because the most costly thing when you have your own business is unhappy customers and returns. Like they can return the product and you, you know, you have to pay for the return. But, you know, the five star reviews that all of a sudden go down to two star, that's not helping your business out at all. So make sure that you're designing a quality product every single time. Go slow, double check your steps, triple st like triple check all of your designs as you're going along to make sure that you've got everything absolutely um, perfect for this design. So um, the other thing is uh, here, if you had a product variant, they would be up here in the top right hand corner. If they had different sizes, they'd be up in the top right hand corner and you would be able to select the different variants or sizes. I've done this curtain so many times, I know that there is only one size for the curtain and it is 71 by 74 inches. So now I'm going to go ahead and save my product. And when it comes up here, we're going to be able to see that the mock-up view um, is going to be like at the beginning of the video, I showed you that this mock-up is from uh, Printify. So now this new curtain is an editable um, design here on Printify. You can save it right over to your Shopify store here. Um, or your Etsy store right away. So when you um, list your products over, when you sync your listings over, the generic product description is gonna go over. So it's just gonna say shower curtain. This is gonna be the description for it. Um, you can add a sizing table if you would uh, like to do that as well. 
Um, you can do it in Imperial or metric. I find that most people that understand metric also understand Imperial, but that is not always the case in reverse. You can add any tags that you want to at this time. You can select a shipping profile. Um, you can also select your pricing. So if you did not like the pricing and you wanted to make more profit or just up your pricing, this would, would be where you would select your pricing. Um, so I can select this curtain here and I'm going to edit the price. Um, I could edit the profit or I can edit the profit margin, whichever I prefer. So in my scenario, I always like to pick 65. And then I, if I want to run a sale or something, I've got a little bit of wiggle room there. And then the next thing you would need to do is decide whether or not you want this hidden in your store or if you want um, it visible. I always put it over hidden at first and then I go ahead and write product descriptions and, you know, put in extra photos, make extra photos in Canva. Um, you can go onto my site on Etsy and see all of the different um, explanation photos and everything that I've made for my products. And some of those are standard, like the care instructions. So I've just made graphics in Canva so that I have like, um, you know, products that come over that I can just put the graphic in for washing care for the same product over and over again, just to kind of speed things up. But just um, if you're just wanting to order your shower curtain, you can do that as well. Um, from here, you would just need to put in your own personal order and it will come over. You don't have to list this product on a store at, if you don't want to. So if you had uh, a Shopify store and you had collections set up on your Shopify store, you would be able to select the collection that you would like this product to be published in as well. And then you would just hit publish. So this is my uh, make your own shower curtain tutorial. Um, I don't know about you, but this is actually pretty striking. Um, we'll show you a bigger image of it here. And um, Typically when you can see the little dots in the background too, I might um, tone those down a little bit. You can always go back and edit your design before you hit publish. So make sure that you blow up the image as much as possible. You could download the image as well and then pull it up on a bigger computer screen have, if you had a bigger screen. Um, I never recommend designing anything directly on your telephone um, or a smaller pad. I always recommend doing it on a larger computer screen because what you see on the phone and, you know, doing this with your fingers to make it bigger, it just doesn't translate as well. So go ahead and make sure that your product is absolutely perfect. Uh, make any adjustments you see fit before you uh, sell this to a customer. So there you go. That's my Printify shower curtain tutorial. If you like these videos, I beg you, please hit subscribe so that I can do uh, more things with my business, including hire other people to work, which puts money back into our local economy. And if you have not started a Shopify store yet and you think that's something you want to do, here is the QR code to go and start your own Shopify store. I'm an affiliate for all of these products. The links are also in the video description. Go fill your boots, guys. Stay tuned to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.